Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, John, for the um, uh, kind introduction. If I could just make a, a personal comment, um, I think this this meeting and uh, the subject discussed is so relevant. I mean, not only for its own value, but actually where it fits in global health. Um, you know, as you struggle to define what global health actually is and where it's going, I think there are two aspects particularly important. One is that global health really focuses on vulnerable populations, and secondly, on transnational issues. And I think those two characteristics fit this topic very well. Um, on a personal basis, just a personal comment, perhaps not important, um, about three years ago, I was passing through Geneva, actually for the Fondation Merieux on my way to France, and I was pickpocketed and lost all of my identity documents, um, all my passports, my everything. And suddenly I, I went from being somebody to being nobody and had to figure out how do, how do I extricate myself out of this really quite difficult situation. And it made me realize that, well, I was able to relatively quickly, but somebody less privileged would have had a very difficult time. And it was actually a very sobering uh, experience that, uh, you know, highlighted to me uh, the importance of this on a, on a very, you know, personal basis, the importance of this, uh, this whole discussion. Um, and thirdly, uh, thank you, Carl, for the, the, the lecture. And it emphasizes really that amongst all of this, uh, the, the challenges of migrants and migrant health, the need for data, um, the famous statement, I actually first heard it from Margaret Chan at WHO, but I think others said it earlier, that uh, what gets measured gets done, and we really do need data and precise data on this whole topic. So anyway, it's my privilege to introduce really excellent people uh, for this first panel on uh, displaced people and their specific health challenges. There may be a little bit of overlap with the panel that David is going, David Heyman is going to chair. Uh, firstly, Dr. Yoran Green. Um, she's an officer in the US uh, Public Health Service. She's the regional director of the CDC, a Caribbean and Central American regional office based in Panama. Uh, she spent quite a few years working in Haiti. Um, and uh, she is currently preparing to deploy to the Democratic Republic of Congo to lead the CDC Clade 1 MPOX response. Uh, on the ground. So, Joran, uh, welcome. Please come to the to the front. Um, I don't know how we're going to do microphones. I guess somebody will figure that out. Please come and uh, and uh, join the front panel. Um, secondly, Dr. Leo Miller is the director of health policy and communications at the International Rescue Committee (IRC). Uh, she develops uh, and implements policy solutions to improve the health of IRC clients in humanitarian uh, crises and fragile and uh, conflict affected, affected settings and covers a broad portfolio of uh, health issues from immunization to STIs, reproductive health, uh, infectious disease uh, and primary health care. And finally, uh, Dr. Jean-William Papp is the co-founder and director of Geskio the first institution in Haiti dedicated to the fight against AIDS set up in, the, in 1982. Uh, and in the current uh, humanitarian crisis in Haiti, Geskio is providing daily medical and health assistance to displaced populations in 11 refugee camps. Uh, Dr. Pap is very well known, of course, to all. He's the Howard and Carol Holtzman Professor of Clinical Medicine at the Center for Global Medicine at Vial Medical College of Cornell University. He's a member of the Merieux Foundation's Board of Directors and its Scientific Advisory uh, Board. And he has numerous, uh, been numerous awards, including being elected to the US Institute of Medicine of the National Academy of Medicine. So please join uh, the uh, table at the front for the panel discussion. 